So when's the best time to visit Costa Rica? Specifically, Ubita, Costa Rica. Well, stay tuned to this episode of Costa Rica Story because that's just what we're going to talk about. So here it is. It's, it's April 10th and it's a transition period. It's a transition period beginning the beginning of the end for the dry season and the start of the rainy season, hopefully. It's been a very, very dry, dry season this year. So it's raining today, this afternoon, and it's much, much uh, appreciated. It's much welcome rain. And I'm down at one of the local swimming holes here. And during the normal season, during the green season, it's all, I'm, I would be in the water, I would be underwater. But right here, all this you see here that looks like beach, this, that's all underwater. And really, this whole section here is super dry. And if it wasn't for a little dam down here at the end, there would be hardly any water in here at all. But, uh, you know, the locals build little dams in the river to, to, uh, to maintain some of the, of the water level. But as you can see, it's so low this year that this dam was necessary to uh, to make it at least a little bit swimmable. And it's still not very swimmable and the water's kind of, you can see it's a little bit greenish in there. It doesn't smell as good, good as it does in the, in the green season and the normal season. And I refer to it that way. I refer to the, the green season as the normal season and I refer to the dry season as the dry season. But I'll I'll switch that terminology around back and forth, but to me, it's, it's, it's normal. But when it's raining and rivers are up, that's normal. When it's dry, I just it just seems, I mean, it is normal that it, it, it's part of the cycle that it gets dry, but it, it just, it doesn't feel right to me. I just, it, it gives me an unsettled feeling to see everything so dry like it is here right now. So which do you prefer, dry season? I suppose one advantage of the dry season is that it makes it easier to explore along the river here. And I'm not saying during the dry season the river is disgusting and gross or anything, but it's just not as healthy as it is during the rainy season when you get a good flow of water going through there. So as I mentioned before, we are in a transition period right now. It's April 10th and hopefully the dry season is on its way out because it's been a, a pretty intense dry season. It's been a very uh, serious dry season. This dry season had it in its mind it was going to make things dry and it did. And another thing you notice during the dry season, the vegetation just doesn't look as nice and fresh as it does during the uh, green season. Another thing some people might consider a positive thing about dry season is that it gets a lot easier to cross the rivers like right here this is actually a road that goes across the river 
I mean, it's a road technically, but during the green season, the, normally this riverbed here is full of, of water. And when we get a good rain, this whole thing where I'm standing, you, you couldn't be here. It's just uh, a torrential uh, waterway. But as you can see right now, it's, uh, it's pretty dry here. I actually, during Envision, I saw this, this gringa girl with a, it was a two wheel drive car and uh, it was pretty low to the ground and she made it across here without any problem at all. I couldn't, I couldn't believe that. I couldn't believe she even tried that. But well, people do stupid things and it was a rental car so she probably didn't care. So as I mentioned before, this, this road, as we call it, it is actually a road and you'll see vehicles actually cross this road. It's just a public road. It's just another little roadway here. It's just Costa Rica style. So this time of year, it's an easy crossing. But come, come September and October, it's a whole different ball game here. Come into April, late April, May, it's a different, even different then. It, it varies from year to year. So you can't really define the, uh, the season that distinctly but you can define it in, in tendencies. And the tendency is, from this point on, it tends to get a little rainier. At least that's been my experience in my, my three years here in Costa Rica. So the wor they're working on a bridge right there to go across to do some welding and stuff. So once there's a bridge across here, it's probably gonna be a lot less wild. This is, one of my favorite places to do a little walk when I first got here to Costa Rica. I haven't actually been back here in a while. But as I mentioned in previous videos, Ovita is changing really fast, really fast. So another one of the disadvantages of the dry season is that the waterfalls kind of, they lose their oomph, they lose their power. So this little waterfall behind me, I call this the secret waterfall. and. Uh, it's beautiful and everything right now, but when, when we're into the rainy season, it's really nice up here. It's a really nice little spot. Not that, it, not that it's not a nice spot right now, but it's, it's better when there's more rain. So right now we are getting rain, so we're on the right track. So in the dry season, the river is very easy to cross. So you can get to the other side of the, of the river to see the falls. The only thing is, during the dry season, the waterfall is not as dramatic and nowhere near as cool as it is during the rainy season. But there are times during the rainy season when you're not gonna be able to cross this river. This river gets so high that there's, there's absolutely no way you'd be able to cross it. So, you like it somewhere in the middle. High enough where the water falls cool. Low enough where you're not gonna drown trying to get across the river. Rainy season versus dry season. The answer may not be what you think it is. Rio Vita, Costa Rican dream, where emerald waters brightly gleam. Through rainforest lush and secrets kept, 
your ribbon flows, forever swept. Howler monkeys serenade your banks, as scarlet macaws take flight in ranks. Iguanas bask on sun-warmed stone, while hidden wonders yet unknown. In crystal depths may come to light with darting fish and colors bright. Your current whispers tales untold of ancient lands and mysteries bold. From mountain peaks to ocean's embrace, you carve a path, a sacred space. Rio Ovita, lifeblood of the land, may your beauty evade the hand of man. From distant mountains, cool you flow, a gift of life that makes things grow. Rio Uvita, heart of Uvita's soul, may your beauty forever make us whole. The dry season comes, but soon departs. When the rain returns and lightens hearts, the jungle trees survive the worst and now drink deeply to quench their thirst. And the river soon will swell its banks from the sweet, sweet rain. We give it thanks. The cycle here is old as time repeats itself. It's life sublime. Rio Vita, my old friend, with waterfalls and river bend, you give us comfort from the tropics heat with swimming holes to cool our feet. Your beauty is quite unique. Your waters babble, I hear you speak. Since the dawn of time, you've been here flowing, forever seeing, forever knowing. You've seen children visit and then grow old, a river's life with tales untold. To bring such joy, a simple pleasure, Rio Ovita, we always treasure. So if you'd like to come to Ovita and do my Ovita day adventure with me, there's a ton of things we can do. We can go out, walk out to the whale tail, you can come out here to a hidden waterfall and check it out. We can go to play a Vantanis. There's just a plethora of things we can do. All found at CostaRicaMove.com. I also do consulting for those moving to Costa Rica. I can help you find a rental. I can hook you up with a real estate agent or an attorney for your immigration. CostaRicaMove.com for more details about all that stuff. That's all I've got for this edition of Costa Rica Story. Make sure you like if you liked it, subscribe if you want to, but most importantly, share this video and this channel with a friend. Hasta luego. Saw a bird. Bird distract me. So easily distracted. Oh, look at the bird. Look at the bird. But that's all I've got for this edition of Costa Rica Story. Make sure you like if you liked it, subscribe if you want to. Most importantly, share this video and this channel with a friend. Hasta luego.